Cadell, the Associate Curator at the Cedar Rapids Museum of Art. Um, and because unfortunately now people can't come and see our beautiful exhibitions, we thought we would share some of our favorite pieces with you. So I wanted to start with three of my favorites in Across the Atlantic, and those are of course the three pieces by Edgar Degas. Uh, Degas is one of my favorite Impressionists because he's kind of unusual for the period. Impressionists are known for working on plein air outside um, and for sketching really freely and doing everything very quickly and recording those fleeting impressions of light and air. And Degas is really interesting because he is not like that at all. Uh, he really famously said, no art is less spontaneous than mine um, because his eyes were really bothered by both wind and sun. Degas was one of the few Impressionists that did work primarily in his studio. This can kind of be seen when we look at the pieces that we have on view in this exhibition. Um, so Degas was a little bit unusual because he does a lot of indoor scenes. And so the works we have in here are a laundress, a bather, and a cafe concert singer. And so as I said, these are all worked by Degas in his studio as opposed to the other Impressionists that worked more out of doors. Uh, so the first piece here, the laundress, this is from between 1882 and 1886. Um, and so this is a really transitional period in Degas' career when he's going from the tighter style that he started out with. Degas, like most of the Impressionists, was academically trained. Um, but here we see it's really loose. And laundresses were a really interesting subject for him to work with because they were very low in French society. Um, it was a demographic made up primarily of women and they could work anywhere from 10 to 18 hours a day. So they were really hard manual laborers. This one particularly is ironing, which would have been skilled labor in the laundress world and she would have made a slightly higher wage. Uh, but I love how loose this piece is, especially because it would have been very steamy when the laundress was working. And so I think it really evokes some of what she would have experienced in her everyday life. The second piece is a really beautiful bather. You can see it has an exceptionally ornate frame, which I absolutely love. Uh, this is a pastel and charcoal on paper. Degas worked in a lot of different media, uh, as did most of the Impressionists. They're thought of primarily as painters, but they did work in prints, pastels, drawings, and lots of different media. Uh, so bathers were second only to ballet dancers as the subject that Degas focused most on in the last two decades of his career, um, which I think is really interesting because the ballet dancers, they're all very public and it's, you know, people would have been going to see them and the bathers are so private. So he's really capturing women at two different periods of their life. Um, but both the ballet dancers and the bathers really focus on the woman's body and the physicality of being a woman, which is absolutely lovely. And our third tiny piece, this is another, it's a pastel over a monotype, which is a type of print. Uh, so Degas made a multiple of this, and then each multiple has different pastel over it. And this is a singer at a cafe concert, which is something that was very popular in French cafes during the late 19th century. Um, and so this really beautiful piece, if you can zoom in on it, it's lovely and tiny, um, is more what people think of as a standard Degas because he did a lot of the entertainment industry. He did a lot of nightclub singers, as I said before, a lot of ballet dancers. Um, so here you can really see the loose, loose work that he was doing, very similar to the bather beside it. So these are the three Degas that are in Across the Atlantic, and I hope you have the opportunity to see more.